this area can be restored. We can get beavers back. We can restore the willows. Uh, that gives me a sense of hope. If you can restore gray wolves, it will be the last piece of a 40-year puzzle that would result in gray wolves being reestablished from the high Arctic to the Mexican border, all up and down the Rocky Mountains. There is no other place in the world, Elizabeth, where you can imagine restoration of a large carnivore over such a sweeping, inspiring landscape. What we did in Yellowstone could be done in Western Colorado. It is such a primal sound. We're right in the middle of elk rutting season. Rocky Mountain National Park 2015 had over 4 million visitors. You know, they look at, a, at the landscape and it looks fine to them. There are trees, there's grass. They'll look at those willows and they'll think, uh, even though there aren't any leaves on them, they'll think, oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. And they just don't know. There are parts of that picture that aren't right. I've been coming to Rocky Mountain National Park for almost 40 years. Over that period of time, I've seen so much of this park change. Here we are with some soils that used to be wetland soils, and they're now dry as a bone. This used to be a healthy river birch, probably 20 feet tall. My overwhelming thought is, how in the world could we allow this to happen? This was such a beautiful wetland. In the 1850s, 1860s, there was wetland all around. Water everywhere, beaver ponds, lush willow, shrublands, probably a place to behold. At that time, we also had wolves. That was maybe the last time that uh, this ecosystem was, was in balance. Because we have eliminated such a major predator, the elk populations started decimating the willows, beaver disappeared, water table dropped, damaging the park for decades to come. 